Now, so people say that white is accounted and black is unaccounted. So white is accounted, black is accounted. But this is not quite correct. Because the part of the black is also accounted. Where does it get accounted? Yeah. As I said, the NUS consists of primary, secondary, and tertiary, and then primary is broken up between agriculture, forestry, and logging and mining, secondary is similarly broken up between industry and various other things, and tertiary is broken up between finance and various other So, take agriculture for instance. How do we estimate the size of agriculture's contribution to nationalism? We don't go to see farmers say, please tell your income and then I'll add it up. You know, that's not the main issue. So what is the mechanism? There's something called the crop cutting experiment. <coughs> and what is the crop cutting experiment? We subdivide the nation. It's a very bad diagram, but suppose it's in India. We subdivide it into statutes, into regions. And then at least we can take sample fields and we do the profit. That gives us a team, we multiply by the area and the stock, we get the total of So whether I as an agriculture system declaring my income or not, my output is captured in the national system. So whether I am generating black or white, it's immaterial because my output gets captured. And from that, what the contribution to national system? So in the case of agriculture, even if there is some black income generation, it gets done. Similarly, take construction sector. How is the contribution of the construction sector translated? Did anybody look at the national sector? Okay, for macro you should. And there is some uh, exam volume of the national district. For national district, source and method. Source and method tell you where the data is and what is the method to use for each other sector. So we have nine major sectors. Each sector divided between public and private, so there are 18. Further divided between online and unorganized, there are almost 27 different methods that are used to estimate the size of the national account. Now, so in the construction sector, again we have online and unorganized. How to measure the contribution of this to the national in the online sector, there is something called the input output network. What is the input output network? It says there are six major input input construction. So you have steel, you have glass, you have cement, you have brick, you have timber, and so on. Okay. So we say these are the input, how will output you produce? So you have the input output ratio which you apply, and then you get the size of output. So if it is a construction sector and generating black income, it doesn't matter whether white is total output gets counted. So black and white both get counted in the construction sector if I apply the method correctly. And then using the ratio of the online to the unorganized sector, is the present particular year when the sample survey is done for the unorganized sector, I find out what my contribution to the unorganized sector is. So, the unorganized sector is going to be shown to get counted in the measuring sector. So, that gets counted in construction sector, organized, unorganized, in agriculture and current services. So, why it remains unaccounted in many sectors? Because many of the methods that are used for estimating, especially the unorganized sector, there is a major problem. And therefore, the why gets unaccounted. Similarly, where is it that you have problems in terms of the industrial sector? <coughs> industrial sector data comes from there. What is called the annual survey of industry? Now, in the case of annual survey of industry, industry has to report the data to the NA, and the same data then is reported to the excise and the income tax department. And because of all the ones that get income, they report lower income. So therefore the reporting in the NS is also lower income. So there the black is unaccounted. So in some cases black is unaccounted, there the direct reporting is also to the income tax in the SIS department. But in other cases, where different methods are used, there the black is accounted. 
So our energy is the first part. Something is getting counted, something is not getting counted. We don't know so what is getting counted and what is not getting counted. So somebody has to do this analysis. And that's what my students uh, uh, died, we have your official, have been attempting for the last 10 years. He is now past 35, he is mostly unwell, and therefore he keeps falling ill. But he is still you know, making the attempt to see how to estimate the impact of the and the black family on the area. And I keep hoping that in the next year or so he finish uh, his crazy but that's been going on for the last 9 years. But it's good for people to, uh, you know, at any age to do research. You know, and I encourage him. His wife is telling him that all his friends, you are cool. What are you doing at the age of 75? You are so ill. Every 12 months you have to have a surgery or something and still you are dying. But it's a valiant attempt in making it. And that's what keeps him going. So, one of these days, you will have a PhD, which will give us further results. Okay. Alright. Then there is a very important distinction between capture and transfer. And this is what brings us to Sunil's question. What is the distinction between capture and transfer? Capture in terms of those that are associated with production. Transfer in terms of those that are associated with distribution. So, suppose A buys a house from B. Okay. What happens? He is buying the house, so in the register office, his name will be deleted and his name will be put there. And his name will go to Mr. B. So the pure exchange. No manufacturing, no economic activity other than the broker exchange. So this is called transfer. So this, this connects gap again because he purchased the house of 10 lakhs in 20 years back and today he sold it for 10 crores. So he has generated 9 crores, 90 lakhs as cap to This is not counted in the white account. And therefore it should not be counted in the black account also. Similarly, share market. A purchase is from B, Hindustan Liga share. The money does not go to Hindustan Liga. B is selling both A and A share from B. That's also not transfer asset. So in this also the very capital is related, this is not counted in that income. Otherwise, it is the dot com boom here of 2002, when the stock market rose by 50% for GDP, then you would have said the rate of growth of the economy is 50%. And next year when the dot com boom collapsed, and the price is declined, you would have said it's minus 20%. So paper gains are not counted in the white economy, and therefore it should not be counted in the black economy. So we should only count capital income and not transfer income. And similarly, price are transfer income the not cash income. So in my estimate of 40% or 50% of GDP for 1995, 1996, 2007-8, I do not count price, I do not count real estate, I do not count share. Whereas if you look at the research to say, that form of black income is generated in real estate, in the share market and through price. But these should not be counted to the theme to make the national income counting a hot cost. This distinction between tax income and transfer income is very, very important. But uh, just uh, uh, if you look at the asset market, basically financial asset market, if you have too much demand, will the prices not get driven up for the new, uh, say, housing or new? Yes, I think, but as the capital gain is made in the asset market, that does not constitute a factor. Okay. So that's why the capital gain is made in the current year income generation. Everything, transfer income also has an effect. Transfer income means suppose a farmer sells his land to a builder and gets five crores, so you have these pictures of cattle sitting there and a BMW standing next to it. Okay? Because his main income, even if transfer income, so it affects consumption. So consumption probably is affected, but income is also. So that secondary and third on that is of transfer income also. I'm not saying. But in economic terms, we are counting income plus account factor in and we don't count transfer income in the national income. Because that has to do with the production. So simple transfer of bank, simple transfer of building, simple transfer of flat does not generate uh, output in the sense of value addition. The only value addition is the brokerage. So brokerage of the broker in the real estate market or in the share market, that is counted, but the cap gain is not. So if not counted in the white economy, it should not be counted in the black economy also. There is another important reason which I will come to why asset income comes to 
Now, so black one needs to be clear so that it's usual factors of the economy in this time. And it introduces a detail, a very difference between the advanced countries and the developing countries. In the advanced countries, black economy does not affect daily But in the developing countries, it affects all the daily And therefore, you find in the advanced countries, corruption and black economy is high level, but not in daily so for instance, during my four years at Princess, I never bought a car because the car was never used. Yet every third month I'm buying cars, so the voltage is not right. I never saw the lines when I used to come back every summer to visit the IR car or the and other places to see what is there going on. So whenever I'd be dealing, I'd call up the operators say I'm dealing with these cargo boards with anything. Sometimes during the day, lines man would come and would take it away. When I'd go back, I'd call up and say I'm back, please have my phone and so and they would tell the lines man. I never saw the lines man for four years, the school never went out of order, you know, and so on. So life becomes very efficient. Once a friend of mine, you know, was cheating, he got caught. Now, it's quite intimidating because you have to put your hands up and they shine the light and their fellows carrying the gun, you know, the hand ready on the gun, you know, because you could be a group or whatever. They're all very uh, gun happy. So, my friend walked out and said, I don't know, I'm caught here. And he gave the light. He didn't say, take $10 and leave me, you know, or in this case, like in India, what would happen is the first police officer will catch you. He said, don't you know who I am? My uncle is a MP or my brother is a Chinese police and call them up. So if first time proud with the fellow, they will tell you they take 100 rupees and go. This kind of thing would never happen. And day to day life, you don't have this. So efficiency of day to day life is like enormous in that last okay. So that's one institutional difference that has to be taken into account. Okay. So black income is generated in illegal or legal activity force and it involves an illegal. So, there is an important distinction that was to be between multiple counting and standard and tax There are two important definitions that I have referred to. And one is called standard definition because what is the standard interest? How much of the output is this out so that the planning matrix is going on? So if you are planning for 100, but your economy is 150, you are planning for the wrong amount of 3, you are planning for the wrong amount of 4, you are planning for the wrong amount of 6, so planning can go wrong. So he is interested in how much of the output is being made. But what is the tax man concern? The tax man concern is how much the tax is being And if you notice in the process of production, Suppose you are producing sugar. <coughs> so when the sugar leaves the gate, the country gate, then you declare 80% and under involve 20%. Okay. So every truck that leaves the factory gate, you under under involve 20%. So on this 20% it is underemployed. You first don't pay the expiry. Next, when it's transported to a city and offered now delivery, but earlier they were offered going to make the offer of because underemployed. Then next when the sale takes place, you pay the sales tax. <coughs> and if sales tax is multi-point, then you pay more than one sales tax. <coughs> but because now it's in the cost of the way to the next where the revenue from that is not being declared on, you evade the corporation tax. And then if the dividend is not distributed, you are holding income tax. Now of course dividend is paid as part of the corporation tax. So one single evasion which will only at least five times. Now from the tax one point of view, you count it five times, will say five million of the million of the tax of the income tax. But in one single factor income, it is a all the five tax. So it should be counted once. So in the right economy, you don't count this 80% five times, because it's saying five times, you count it only once. So similarly, the tax one also, this 20% should be counted once, even if it is five times. So this is one of the 
then Tatsman definition has multiple functions. And that's why the Tatsman definition is a very large figure of Tatsman. So the figures coming out of the multiple circles and the Tatsman circles will be very large. And that's why Shubhu Bhagavan Buddha's estimate for 1987 was already 57% of the people. But he was counting SIVT variables and consumption variables and optimization uh, variables and variability in some given name of the data. So that was the definition of the Tatsman circle. So that was the definition of the Tatsman circle. So that was the definition of the Tatsman circle. So that was the definition of the Tatsman circle. So that was the definition of the Tatsman circle. So that was the definition of the Tatsman circle. So that was the definition of the Tatsman circle. So that was the definition of the Tatsman circle. So that was the definition of the Tatsman circle. So that was the definition of the Tatsman circle. So that was the definition of the this is there in my 2006 Kupiratu uh, article. So, if I try this claim for 10 rupees, that 10 rupees is the revenue, not the income of the business and 10 rupees. So, what's the income? If we already paid the 8 and a half rupees to buy, spend 50 per day on other costs, after deducting those costs, then 1 rupee is this cost. So, profit is always revenue minus cost. For and, there are two components of that profit. First is the white profit, which is the declared the balance sheet. And then the second part is the black profit, which is not declared. So, balance sheet profit is the declared revenue by the declared profit. Alright. So, C is equal to R minus C. So, how do I generate the extra profit? I show lower revenue and higher cost. So therefore that splits up the P to PW and PD. When this is a balance sheet profit and this is a off balance sheet profit. So that's why businesses typically tend to maintain two parallel set of accounts. <coughs> One accounting for the black and the other accounting for the white. And why do brothers or partnerships stay in India? Because the size of the black profit is off balance sheet. So Ambani brothers fall apart, Shira brothers fall apart, Mahatar brothers fall apart, and all kinds of small businesses, you know, which started with partnerships fall apart very quickly. So the black profit can be higher than the white profit. And therefore, that's the real fact. Who to gain what? And that's why we think this cannot be settled in court. This black profit is not there. So the dispute between Ambani brothers are set by who? Kamath. Kamath knew what the leader is working for. He has been ordered a part of the land. Okay? So you have to have somebody who knows the leader's birthday and only he can send them. Alright? So, this is an undeclared revenue plus the overpaid cost. The bank profit. And can be very high. So, small amounts of output revenue can lead to large land. This is the problem that Shruti is coming up. Shruti is coming up to say how does the black profit be 50%? So I have to explain to him once that 10% of the output is a need to double the profit. It's a part of the thing. This is how I explain it. So what is revenue? Revenue is tied into quantity. So declared revenue is only one part of the total revenue. It is a declared price into declared quantity. But the other three parts, under invoice price, it shows the actual quantity, under invoice quantity is the price, declared under invoice price into under invoice quantity, these three constitute the value. Now, to make this so, so you have P into Q, P is P declared plus P undeclared into Q declared plus Q undeclared. Okay? So only one P declared and Q declared as your balance sheet revenue. The other P component this into this, this into this, and this into this. So the undeclared revenue. So there are three components of undeclared revenue and one component of declared revenue. Sir, you talked about the tax evasion part. There are five taxes which are being saved due to black money. Sir, I think it should be the sum of all the taxes which are being evaded. No, what you have to say is on a given tax you have an income. You are counting income. So you say excise duty is so much income for the board. A doctor is so much income for the board. So you are counting the income by tax. So this is the income which is evading the... That's why that is... 
But you have to get 35,000 in cash before you are given 85,000. So its effective value should be common, not the three internal paper in 85,000. So great great loss is passed. So in Jane, you have a student thought, the, uh, the contractor, when the minimum wage was 125 rupees, you will take it 65 rupees. They covered over the month ago, and there it was very clear. So this is a widespread practice. So either the wages are shown or the employment is passed. Therefore, the wages are always less than what are declared for pay. And the difference is 5,000 and nothing. So wages are passed. Then raw material purchase, you are buying cotton work, 1 crore rupees to make textiles, but you declare it as 1.5 crore per over import. And 0.5 crore is 5,000. That is what happens in export, import, in raw material purchases and layers. Then services. So you have seen additions of over import. So raw material wages purchase services which are like over it. So small businesses. And big business what they do, the managing director and the stock management, they travel with the builder company talk, uh, they telephone and phone with the builder company telephone, their servant with the builder pure in the company, their driver with the builder, the driver with the company. So the entire household expense and other things is going to the company. So overheads are always over. So overheads are overstated, so all costs are increased. So that the pricing house can be done. And this is not the stock management. My wife, uh, well known candidate, you know, uh, her company, I would name all these things, uh, you know, could say you charge of stock position, hard position, this thing, that thing, and all of it is producing 50 shares Okay. So, cost are all the time in uh, this stock. So, what happens? The entire cost of crush through the black. All of the way. You know, white cloth was and black cloth are few. And that is why a 10% wage of output can lead to double output. So, this is the mechanism for generating black is going to cost. Now, so as a consequence, wages are always increased and profits are shown to be lower. So, profits are shown to be lower on white and wages are shown to be higher. So one of the key macro variables is distribution of the economy, P upon W. So because of the black copy, the P upon W ratio is shown to be lower than what it actually is. So income distribution is far more skewed than actually the white copy data, the option data is used. Okay. Uh, now, these are the different ways in government projects and private education and the public sector, how things are in place. And therefore, these are the macroeconomic models. Output is overstated. Employment is overstated in the white. Output to labor ratio, therefore, different. Capital labor ratio is different. And there uh, is other problems that are associated with it. So, this is what shows why the industrial productivity is lower. Now, therefore, all this model has various implications. I think we can get for. Uh, Ten minutes or three, and then come back. And then.